democracy is uh, also a process where you give other people a chance to speak. And um, we're celebrating 25 years of independence, sorry, 25 years of, of broken um, democratic uh, system. And um, for me, I, I, I'm, this celebration is coming to me with so much mixed feelings because Nigerians are all watching us. Nigerians are listening to us. Those people we are representing are listening to us. How much of this democracy, un unbroken democracy that we are celebrating today, how has it trans translated to you know, unbroken food security? How has it transferred and transformed into unbroken security in the nation? How has it transformed into unbroken access to education, access to healthcare? And we're talking about celebration of democracy. The democracy is government of the people, for the people, by the people. And it should actually change the lives of our people. We are representing our people. Our people are hungry back home. For me, I have to be honest with you, Mr. Speaker, there is nothing to celebrate. Oh, you are saying we should not celebrate so we should be looking at celebrating food security. We should be looking at celebrating access to health care. Hmm. So we should be looking at celebrating there are a lot of things to celebrate. We know that we know that we have had unbroken excuse me please I, I need to be protected. I need to be protected, Mr. Speaker. You are protected, but democracy is what is protecting you. Sir, so democracy has given you that place you are standing. We have on this floor. To be a parliamentarian, you are a democracy that gave you that platform. Are you saying you are not celebrating it? What has it, how has it impacted? We need it to move a step further. We need it to move a step further. If I am here and it has brought me here, how has it impacted my own people? That's what I'm talking about, Mr. Okay, Speaker. Thank you very much. So please, thank you. We are celebrating, I am celebrating, but we should be able okay, to you are celebrating implement, it now. implement what we have been doing here. Over okay, here. thank you. So you are thank celebrating you. it now. Thank you. Thank you. Honorable colleagues, democracy. Uh, that's the last words counted her first word because democracy gave her the platform to be able to address this issue and uh, to say she is not celebrating it is what's better. Honorable Kafilat, I want to hear you speak. Okay, so this is enough to know why we are where we are as a people, right? You see this um, um, legislature that we have, this current one, I think it's one of the most useless ever. With all due respect, that's Benjamin Kalu, the deputy speaker of uh, the house of reps that was um, leading the proceeding for the day i was disappointed but benjamin i've met him personally and then we have spoken right i've also heard him talk about his passion for nigeria but that thing he did there now is an indication of the mindset that these guys carry around they think that they are doing us a favor that the democracy they have offered to us enough to celebrate you heard him say it clearly to the lady even if i am I am not so, uh, not so impressed with the progressives in the house. We want them to keep speaking because the reason why Benjamin and the rest of the guys were laughing or humming to the um, uh, submission of this lady who is um, a, a Labour Party House of Rep member from the East, so to speak, is because it is not a regular thing. When they begin to hear these things regularly, they will know. Because obviously they are not interfacing, they are not engaging, they are not conversing with the people that represent. Because I'm not sure that if these guys, on on monthly basis, have stakeholders conversations or constituent conversations, they would come here and be surprised that somebody is saying that the the uninterrupted democracy of this republic is not worth celebrating. Because they don't hear it. Because they don't want to hear it. They don't listen to the people. And then you think that is enough to celebrate. You think that having democracy what what has democracy brought for us it has only empowered a few persons the fact is these guys are the ones who celebrate democracy because democracy has given them rise to multiple billions of naira, both in illegitimate uh, um, constitutional ways and in unconstitutional ways the same mass of rep members that collect wages and allowances for as little as side chick dog newspapers that you do not even buy anymore and several others traveling medical ex medical expenses even for family members for a, a number of family members that they can even in, in, include 
um, sad relationships that do not matter to to to, 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 the, to, the, to their blood lineage into it, and then they do not care if the common man on the street have got these things. I not blame Muna. I not blame Muna. And the Nigerians also continue to elect people like this into power because we use quota system and a lot of other rhetorics to get people into power. How can you be? These people are supposed to be the one feeling the pulse. I can I can excuse the minister who is an appointee of the president and expect the president to to rejig his his, his his cabinet and ensure that only quality people there. But how are the people electing people like this into the house? Again, I said so. I'm disappointed. This see, there is no reason we should have the legislative arm of government at this moment because they are the most insensitive, most corrupt, most 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 inept, most irresponsible, most unaccountable set of set of elected representatives that we have had in the last couple of years. This one is our utter rubbish. They put a shot on that. Then they laugh. Because today the woman is speaking jargons. It's not supposed to be so. Even I say, not be the same country we did. It's looking like we don't live in the same country. We don't, we don't, we don't bear the same pain. We don't see the same struggles. These guys are on another. See the level of sensitivity. These guys are on another level. Guess what? There are people already mounting roadblocks against people that want to remove them for office. They will be re-elected. There are folks in that house that have been there for four consecutive times, five consecutive times, three consecutive times. Some of them have not. This lady now. This is a treasure. I'm, I, She's going to grow because you saw her stammering, you saw her stuttering. She didn't have the confidence to say the right thing because again, she's a lady and she's in the midst of vampires. But she's going to grow. I want her well. If you see this video, please share this video. This lady needs to be encouraged. I'm proud of her. I'm proud of her. I'm proud of her. I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud. She needs to continue to hear this, say these things. Unfortunately, even if she is just you, ma, continue to say it. Nigerians need to wake up to the call that we are not in a safe land. You want to celebrate 25 years of uninterrupted democracy. And she's asking, how much of uninterrupted food security are we giving? How much of uninterrupted health care are we giving? At 25, it, 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 under, under normal circumstances, if you follow the Nigerian uh, educational system of 3, 4, 3, yeah. Okay. 3, 6, 3, 3, 4. Yes, 3, 6, 3, 3, 4, an average. It, at that time, that particular child should have left. Okay, if you say if you remove nursery school, so to speak, because it's not in government um, school settings, you say six three three four, for example. At that time, it, the child that went through that should have been done with school and graduated and even having a job at twenty five. Ask ourselves, has this country fixed the basic problems for his for his for his most vulnerable citizens? No, and then you want to celebrate. Monies will go down. These guys are going to enjoy. There will be allowances sent to them. Not be Christmas. If they hear this talking about allowances, get they don't call them. And we'll be no more. Keep electing idiots. That's what we will get. You are shorting somebody that is speaking for the masses. God will punish all of them. Get out of my country.